what's up uh jose and uh abel here from toy fiends collectibles uh today's video we want to go ahead and do another unboxing video uh we haven't done one of these in a little while now uh mainly because we're waiting wait we're waiting for our inventory to get in uh it's been sort of slow the last few months you know shipping has slowed down there's a bunch of stuff related to covid that has really caused a lot of issues i think so you know it's just shipping in general i mean right like it's just been kind of slow and uh you know especially because a lot of this stuff comes from overseas so mm -hmm. it's like you know we've just been patient and we don't want to give you guys uh empty videos so we're trying to wait to get some really good stuff and then make uh some good video some good content for you guys uh so with that said today's video we want to do a review of some diamond uh, select statues and these statues are actually part of diamond selects gallery diorama series um, we have a few collectors that come in the shop that they're very loyal to this brand and overall it's been growing a lot more recently um, case in point these two statues are newer for this line the bruce lee i have to check on whether he's like a new release but i know the crow um besides this one there's quite a few statues coming out and i think we do have a bunch of those pre-ordered because we're huge fans of the crow and our and our customers are also huge fans so it's like we want to uh you know we want to appease and so you guys are probably wondering well why do you have a bruce lee and why do you have you know a crow eric draven well brandon lee and bruce lee you know father and son we figure you know two different contrasts right True. two different roles you know we take the uh, Bruce Lee, who's a legend, and Brandon Lee, who's also a legend, um, and sort of, you know, pay tribute to him in this way and uh, take a look at some badass statues for you guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, with that said, you want to, which one do you want to open first? Yeah, Bruce I, was, Lee. I was thinking of Bruce Lee. So, we've already got these uh, sort of open because we don't want to struggle on camera with this and sort of just take up time. So, we're going to go ahead and pop this one open and just pull them out. So, very secure packaging, it looks like. Um, yeah, he's got just that plastic insert. I'm gonna put this here on the floor. Um, and it's got a little brochure in here, um, just for information, that gives you more information about the statue itself. So pretty um, pretty cool stuff. And it also lets you know that it's a, a Bruce Lee, an official Bruce Lee licensed product, um, which matters because Bruce Lee, obviously his, I think his daughter like runs his company now oh, or, or, or his LLC or some, I don't know what it is that, that shit, or it's an, I don't know if it's an LLC, but, but, um, there's a lot and there's a, a, a huge, a huge organization, I should say behind Bruce Lee's name and they try to do the best to keep it alive. So there's, there's that just for, just for reference. So this wow. isn't a knockoff. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and crack this open. And here we have the Bruce Lee, uh, water statue. So this, this uh, for, for anyone who's a Bruce Lee fan knows exactly what the statue is based on. Um, Bruce Lee, throughout his life, he was known for being more than just uh, a martial artist, being more than just uh, uh, an actor, quite honestly. I mean, he was probably, I mean, not probably, but he was up there with the likes of, I mean, even before Muhammad Ali, right? Like, I mean, oh, he's, yeah. he's probably like the first super sports superstar that that you that really from his from his generation that had an impact culturally um i mean there are probably other names of bruce lee continue uh was and continues to be a huge icon um i mean he's referenced in all sorts of things like um i mean from not just movies obviously martial arts yeah. but weight training i mean he he was very well known for his weight training regimen uh music he's a huge in oh, music yeah. a lot of rap artists uh really respect you know bruce lee and who he was um and as i was saying just to the philosophy side of bruce lee um he was he did a famous interview where he he gave the quote which was okay. i said empty your mind be formless shapeless like water now you put water into a cup it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I mean, as far as the statue itself, what are your what are your thoughts on it? Like, as far as... Well, I'm looking at his back right now. Yeah. I like how you can see all the muscles on it. <laughs> right. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. That's, that's pretty a good, good point. detail on his, uh, on his body structure. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at the most. Yeah, it's, it's a... Yeah, and, I, and I'm looking at the um, veins. It's yeah, crazy. you see veins and everything, and 
his face too like it's very obviously they have him in a very focused state mm -hmm. but um just the water effect is just badass i mean it's very cool to look at um and i and i and this this statue would fit right in with any bruce lee collector um you know any fan of bruce lee so yeah i mean it's 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 a very impressive piece and for the price like we were talking about earlier um these statues unlike a lot of statues that are out there and don't get me wrong there's a place for those as well but these statues are all fairly affordable i think this guy we have them priced in our shop for uh 50 so it's not it's not out of the realm to get one of these for pretty good realism pretty good quality um and like i said just to build your bruce lee collection so yeah i really i really like it and the other thing i noticed too it's uh i think it's pvc right is that the material it's it's made out of pvc right because it's a pvc is e easier to paint from my understanding um so i would imagine it's some kind of pvc material so yeah i mean i'm just i'm just really impressed with with uh with these statues and um we are getting a lot more in our shop like i know we have a few more coming so i'm just excited to just display all these in the in the shop and just keep it going so um yeah so that's the that's the bruce lee water statue i hope you guys like that one um so yeah i guess on to the <laughs> on to the next one <laughs> next one is uh the crow yeah the crow eric draven all righty yeah let's go ahead and uh get him open uh, something i forgot to mention the um the the box of the statue itself does have the quote too so that's uh that's kind of cool too it's got uh it's got the quote that bruce lee that basically embodies that this statue basically embodies so that's that's some more info for you guys there so yeah be like water this thing is cool man oh it's got another insert in the back all right maybe we can just leave that one right just to not mess with it but so here we have the eric draven the crow uh, diamond select gallery diorama statue um i mean honestly when i when i got i i'm I'm more and more impressed with the Diamond Select products. A couple months ago, we did a review of the uh, of the Crow action figure, right? Um, and just was really, I was blown away personally, like the quality that you were getting for um, in that action figure. And it seems like Diamond Select with the statues, uh, they just went all out with this one. I mean, you looking at this reminds you of the yeah. movie like right away, right? I mean, the the broken window, obviously the Crow on his on his right shoulder um he's got the scrapbook i think that's like the yeah shelly it says shelly and eric that's crazy <laughs> that's deep man <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> yeah and he's got you know he's got his uh his band some band posters hangman's uh what's it called hangman's joke yeah hangman's joke okay and he's got the mask where he got this imp inspiration for the for the crow you know his his paint i guess i should say um and i mean as far as as far as the crow as we talked about a few months ago it's a very iconic movie because it's got a lot of controversy behind it i mean it's obviously brandon lee died you know that was the story of the of the movie itself right yeah, like didn't it pretty crazy yeah like didn't he, we didn't talk about that last time but didn't he die like from an accidental accidental like um i think a a gun went off or something like that. yeah some something like where the uh they were using blanks or something but the right, blanks right. like i think it was the wrong type in the in the inside the gun and they oh, like yeah. like pierced this it, it it killed him i mean ultimately he died from it so um you know rest in peace uh it's just it's just tragic to think about because you know obviously bruce lee himself he also passed away well before his time um but they can you know these two individuals continue to be icons for you know from back then until the future i mean oh yeah for sure you know i mean i'm gonna teach sure. i'm definitely gonna show my kids this movie you know i'm definitely gonna <laughs> teach them about bruce lee it's Every just Halloween, yeah right oh, right that's the type of movie you watch every <laughs> right Halloween. yeah no it's it's a it's an amazing movie just about um you know love tragedy uh death obviously but it, it has a lot of lessons too so it's 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 an amazing movie i think i don't think i need to say too much on that uh, back to the figure itself um, you do obviously have the guitar down here. I mean, they just again went all out. Not to be nitpicky, but he doesn't have his his ring, Shelly's ring. Oh, they're yeah. missing the ring <laughs> again. True. That's that's something I I because I'm you know I'm so into the, this movie. Um, I noticed that right away. He doesn't have it on his uh on his chest. Like uh, I think it's a necklace or he wears it as a necklace. True. So that's something that's missing. It could be that he already gave it to you know this could be the point where he already gave it to the little girl remember the movie oh, like yeah, there's that true. part but 
again that's thinking like that's thinking too far ahead that's too that's thinking too deep about it that's like i don't know but either way like the face they nailed it i mean it looks just like them it looks amazing really really awesome figure you know what it, how's it how's that one hitting you man is it also so i noticed in the hands it has a really good like detail on it That's like true. they look like real lame. yeah they like look for, like for flesh the, it's kind of creepy yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like for the price i would say it's insane yeah and i think this guy we have at 55 i, I i've That's yet to throw a really good price for this yeah i've yet to throw them on our website but um i mean for 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 a statue again it's a very light statue uh pvc yeah i mean the hands look yeah you can see look veins and um they're reddened too because um I mean, that's just, you know, that's just, you know, after fighting, right? After whatever yeah, he's gone through in the movie. Blood right, there, I think. right. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they're maybe a little that's bit bloody. Crazy. Yeah, but it's just overall, I would have liked to maybe see, again, just me nitpicking, maybe a little bit more dirt on the th on the fingernails, you know, because, I mean, he was, he was killing people. And like, yeah. you know, he was, you know, he was, he's getting his hands dirty. So right, uh, right, I would have liked right. to see that a little more, but overall, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful statues. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just to take them off there for you guys can see them a little more clearly uh but um you know comparing the two um it's not an easy task to do this kind of statue but i think these this company nailed it um i mean anytime you're trying to like like abel said like try when you're looking at bruce lee's back just see so i don't know if you guys can see it but you can see the muscle tone you can see um all the intricacies of the human body which if, when you're trying to go after in a figure or a statue is not it's not easy. I mean, us humans, we're, we're complicated creatures. So, you know, luckily, though, technology is getting better. Um, companies are starting to become more aware of that, and they're trying to produce better quality. And I think these figures are definitely showing that. So, you know, as, as a tribute to, you know, one of the greatest father-son duos uh, in, in, in history, movie history, pop culture history, you know, here we have for you guys an unboxing of... Uh, uh, Brandon Lee, The Crow, Eric Draven, and uh, Mr. Bruce Lee himself, Mr. MMA. You know, they, they say they start oh, MMA, MMA, you know, so. Some people call him that. Right, the, the father of MMA, exactly. The MMA, MMA. Yeah. so, um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. We wanted to do these. Uh, we figured these guys, again, You off the bat, you guys might think, why are they doing a Bruce Lee and then a Crow statue? Well, now you guys know. And uh, if you didn't know, shame on you. You should know how they're related. But, yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tell us what you think about these statues. If you guys are are getting into the Diamond Select line, what you like, what, uh, you know, let us know what you think they can improve on. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, we'll try to pass those things along along to the to the company, you know. And um, and I, I but I think they're definitely doing a great job with these with these uh, figures and statues. So uh, and yeah, it's just been a pleasure, you know, just to look at them and and get them so uh, again be sure to like and subscribe uh follow us on instagram at toy fiends find us on facebook toy fiends collectibles and be sure to visit our website uh, i do think we have one of each i like well one of the bruce lee and then i'm going to put up one of the crow statues so if you guys who are not uh local to us will be able to get at least get one from from us if you know if you if you would like to support us uh but uh with that said uh well our website toy toyfiendscollectibles.com uh be sure to you know keep a lookout for these guys on there with that said uh we're signing off and we'll see you guys at the next video thank you guys